All right, folks, I'm at the lake, set up to do some catfishing. So it's a pretty nice day. It's uh, right at 10 a.m. right now, so I'm gonna be fishing the middle part of the day. I'll fish through noon and into the afternoon, probably till three or four, depending on uh, what the bite's like. Um, this lake just, its nature is that it's really rocky and there's a lot of a lot of snags a lot you can see maybe the, the uh, dead wood standing out in the water so there's a lot of snags out here so hopefully I don't have to deal with too much of that I can kind of avoid that um, but if it gets too bad then I'll probably move on down the shoreline and try to find a, a different spot where I can handle that a little bit better where I'm set up at the main lake is out that way and I'm kind of at the mouth of a creek where it works on back in here. Um, I'm hoping to take advantage of some catfish that are working their way on up in here. Um, it's a little bit warmer today. We've had, I guess, what you'd call a warming trend. So hopefully some of these cats are getting a little more mobile. And I'm hoping to get on them. But anyway, I've got my baits ready to go. <laughs> kind of using a block of wood I found here for a cutting board and I'm starting with that smallest bluegill that I caught there in my last uh, bait trip so I've just basically what I've done is cut it in half and I'll have a head piece there and a, a body piece there and uh, my hope is to get on some blue cats there's supposed to be some blue cats in this lake I'm not real familiar with the lake so I've only been fishing here a couple times and I'm trying to kind of wrap my head around it and uh, figure it out a little bit so I'm hoping to get on some blue cats but if I happen upon some channels I won't be disappointed so I'd just like to get a bite so I'm gonna get these uh, baits on the on the hook and get casted out and set up stay tuned all right finally got a fish on <laughs> well maybe yeah he's still on there just about pulled my rod in the water I guess it pays off feels like a good fish and get tangled in my other line. I guess it pays off to uh, put in the time because uh, <laughs> I was just sitting over here making a plan for where I was going to move to next because this wasn't working out. I've been sitting here for probably about 40 minutes now. Nothing going on. And then suddenly, boom, rod gets nearly <laughs> pulled in the water, which of course is what happens when you're using sticks for a rod holder but I seem to have misplaced mine <laughs> not sure what happened to them so they're usually in my truck and they're not now so I may have left them left them out somewhere I don't know but anyway we're making it work yeah I was just thinking about how I was getting ready to make a move I'm I'm set up kind of at the mouth of a larger creek towards the main lake and the water's deeper here I've been, I'm methodically, yeah, that's a blue. I mean, I was a little bit methodical in making my choice about where I wanted to set up. Thinking, I looked at the contour map and here, I mean, it's tough when you're fishing from the bank to find somewhere where you can really target a particular spot where you think the fish are gonna move through. But this is a location where the river channel comes fairly close to the bank and I thought I may be able to reach it from the bank it might be within casting distance um, so I went ahead and decided to set up here I mean these catfish use that river channel as that's not a bad blue these catfish use that river channel kind of as a as a highway and they travel up and down it and so I'm trying my best to be as methodical as I can in choosing location about where I set up and I'm glad I waited it out because this guy finally came along. I mean, nothing going on. Nothing was touching my baits until this guy hit. And it's been about 40 minutes, like I said, that I've been sitting here. So, see if I can get him landed. Should have brought a glove with me. Yeah, that's a nice fish. I'm going to set that rod there and get my jacket off. Make sure I'm not messing with the image as he tries to swim away. Hopefully he got that hook good. Looks like he did. That's a fat fish there, guys. Look at that. Get a 
just tearing my hand up. Yep. Okay. Uh, yep. Tearing my hand up. It's all right. Let's get him up on the bank where he can't get away from me. How about? That's a nice fish, guys. Uh, I should have brought a scale or something. That hook popped right out. I don't think I'm going to be able to hold this one up and get it all in frame. I may have to set the camera somewhere. We'll try, though. Oh! I'm sure you can't see all that. That's a nice fish. Nice fish. Hopefully you can see that. That's a nice fish. Paid off. I'm going to get him back in the water and uh, get another bait out there and wait on another one, I guess. Maybe I won't be moving after all. <laughs> all right, guys. That bait there. Bluegill is one of those baits where it's not real oily. It kind of bleeds out quick. I don't know. This one... I'm tempted to switch it out, but it's still got the innards in there and everything. So, I don't know. I think for now I'm going to go ahead and just rebait that same headpiece. Give her a little bit, and then, of course, the mouth is fairly torn up there. We'll see if I can get it rebaited. If I can, then I think we'll reuse the same the same headpiece for now and then maybe after a while we'll switch them in and then I'm gonna reel in that other rod and just make sure it's not snagged. So. Alright, got another fish on. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> about pulled the thing down in the down in the lake, about lost the rod. <laughs> Hopefully I'm filming. Holy cow. Man, it's hectic. Hopefully I can keep them out of the snags I know are down there. It's crazy because it's just... Uh-oh. Don't get wrapped up and stuff. There he is. Not even that big, I don't think. You just wait and wait and wait. And nothing happen, happening. And then suddenly, boom, your rod about goes in the lake. And that's a small fish that just about took my whole rod in the, in the lake. So, <laughs> that's okay. It's good to get another bite. Maybe they're just not super active. I, I kind of think what it may be is that I know that main river channel flows through here close to the bank. But I don't know how close exactly. And it may be, well, I let this guy kind of tucker himself out. Maybe that that main river channel is just a little bit farther out there than what I'm able to cast to. And maybe if I was able to get my baits out there a little bit further, I'd be getting more action. I don't know. It's hard to say. You can speculate all you want. But nevertheless, I got one more fish here. And maybe that's what it's going to be today. It's just a real slow kind of intermittent bite. But if I can get a few fish, then we'll make it work. Um, I was thinking, I'm still, I've been thinking in between bites about picking up, moving to the shallows seeing what's going on back there just move to a completely different part of the lake see if there's more going on but i don't know if i keep getting a few bites here and there out here then i may just stick it out ride it out and if it is that my baits are sitting down in the river channel like i'd like for them to be then these fish are going to use that like a highway and they're going to cruise right through and at some point you know every once in a while i'll keep getting bites like i've been getting here so let's get this guy taken care of Got my bait back, so we'll take a look at that and see if I need to replace it or not. They're chunky fish, man. They've been... Come to the other side here. They've been feeding, apparently, because they all got bellies on them. Or at least the two that I've caught, anyway. And that last one tore my thumb up, so we're probably going to have to deal with some of that again. Should have brought a glove with me. 
save my hands a little bit. And that one was hooked good. He wasn't going anywhere. Probably can't hear him. He's talking to us. Probably can't hear him though. Got so many waves and wakes, etc. Kind of loud out here, but anyway, there's that fish there. A little guy, but we're gonna get him back in the water. Take a look at this bait. See what it looks like. If it's still in good shape, then I'll put her back on the hook and get it thrown back out there and see if we can get another one. Off he goes. I don't know, that bait's not terrible. I'll probably just rehook it. And... I hadn't been out there too long, so. Pull that hook back through there, like so, and fling it back on out there and try and get another. Well, folks, I've made what I believe is going to prove to be a mistake. <laughs> I decided to pick up and leave that last location. Um, I got a good blue there and then that one small blue, but I've been sitting there for about three hours and only caught the two fish. So I figured I'd pick up and go check out a completely different part of the lake. Um, so I'm out here, I'm in, of course, I've got my podcast on. Let me get my podcast off. I decided to pick up and come out a completely different part of the lake. I was fishing kind of main lake earlier, a little bit deeper water at the mouth of a, of a larger creek. Now I'm back in kind of the, uh, well, the tail end of the lake, I suppose. Complete opposite end of the dam. Um, back in the shallows, I figured since the bite wasn't real hot back where I was earlier. Maybe I'd just completely change it up, go to, sh go to the shallows and see what was going on there. Well, picked a location that took a little bit longer to get back into than, than uh, it looked like it would on the phone. So I ended up taking about an hour long hike to get back in here and then I get here and realize that the place I wanted to fish, there's no way to fish it. It's just a complete cliff, straight drop off from up on the up on the hill down to the water there's no bank no way i could fish it so i ended up just coming back over here i've got this little kind of cove area the wind's blowing back up in there maybe blowing some bait fish in there maybe i'll get some cats working out and up into these shallows chasing after some bait fish but i'm not too optimistic and with how long it took me to get back in here it's gonna take me of course just as long to get out I've got some obligations later on tonight, so I can't stay here all afternoon, so kind of a mistake to get back in here, but at this point I don't really have time to pick up and go anywhere else, so I'm just going to make the most of it, sit here, see what happens, if I get any fish, great, if not, then, then I know for the future I can cross these two spots off my list. Like I said earlier, it's kind of been a goal of mine for this year to get better at fishing this large reservoir type situation from the bank for cats and so earlier in the in a I guess later in the winter earlier in the year I hopped on my map dropped several pins on a bunch of different locations that I thought looked good that I want to get out here and look at in person and try to fish these places over here that I, I just learned I can't fish work up those places so I can mark them off my map and I know for next time that it's not going to be worth my time to try and come back in here and fish it. So, not a complete loss, but I'm afraid it's going to translate into not catching any more fish. But, don't know until you try. So, we'll just give it a little while here, see what happens, and never know. So, stay tuned and I'll let you know what happens. after it 
but it ain't very big. Whatever it is. I don't know if I should set the hook or I think he's got it. Whatever it is, it's got it. It's got it. Probably a champ cat. <laughs> Come back in these shallows, that's kind of almost what you can expect. Got to get my jacket off. It's in the in the way of my camera here. I'll tell you what, guys, as soon as you start trying to film your fishing trips, you're in for a you're in for a challenge. It adds a whole new element to it all. I mean, fishing's already difficult enough, and then you just got to make it that much more difficult by bringing a camera with you. But we did catch another fish, and it is a channel cat. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me too much. That's not a bad one though. And unlike some folks, I'm not against catch. I don't have anything against catching a channel cat here and there. Not near as big as what a blue a blue can get to be, but at least I caught something. <laughs> I was afraid that this whole trek back in here was going to be a total bust. Well, now we know. My curiosity has been satisfied. We know that there are some fish that have worked their way up into these shallows. Actually, folks, that may be a blue there. Nah, I can't tell. It's a channel. It's a real light channel, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's a channel. And characteristic of channel cat. Won't open its mouth for me. Open up. Well, that's why it won't open up. Got the hook through the bottom and the top lip. There we go. folks well folks not a bad channel cat we at least caught some didn't get totally skunked up here in the shallows get back in the water and maybe catch another one before I have to get out of here there he goes bait here hadn't been out there for too long so it should be good to should be okay to just rebait it well again bluegill is one of them baits where it kind of bleeds out pretty quick but i'm gonna go ahead and just rehook it and toss it back out there it up all right Got another fish on. This one feels a little bit bigger than the last one. So we'll see what we got. Again, don't have my rod holders, so every time I get a bite, just about lose my rod to the lake. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. You see that fish hit, and that's almost my favorite part, is just watching the rod go up, bend over. Just watching the bite, watching it get hit. And then, of course, the fight. Oh, did he come off? Nope, 
just swimming right at me. Yeah, that's a better fish there. That's a blue. That's a blue. And he's still got a lot of energy. That one earlier, that that first one I caught today kind of tore my hand up a little bit. So I think I'm going to let this guy tucker himself out a little bit before I try to mess with him. Man, it's a lot of fun. It's not a real big fish, but on the tackle that I'm using, it's just a lot of fun. Every fish puts a nice bend in the rod. Cause I mean, I fish for everything from, with these rods, I fish for everything from channel cats, two, three pound channel cats to 30, 40, 50 pound blues and flatheads. So you need something that it's got enough backbone that you can land a fish like that but also something that's got enough flexibility to it that it's still fun to catch the smaller fish, fish like this. And on the tackle that I'm using, fish like this a lot of fun. So, I think he's about ready, well, about as ready as he's, maybe not, I'm gonna show out for us a little bit. There we go, I think I'm gonna make an effort to land him here and Get my jacket off first. Give him some slack as I let him swim away. all tore up again listen ow ow <laughs> biting down on my thumb listen to him talk to us ow there we go got the hook out hold him up for the camera that's not a bad fish but as he pees all over me Not a bad fish, but not not gonna bother getting him, setting the camera up and getting a picture of him. He's ready to get back in the water, so I'm gonna just put him back in. And there he goes. Well, it's actually ended up working out a little bit better for me come down here. Uh, I think I've been down here 25, 30 minutes now fishing and that's my second bite. So, not bad. I guess some of these fish have kind of worked up in the shallows and water temp is still pretty cold. So, it should be a little bit warmer up here in the shallows than it was out in Main Lake. And should be some bait up in here, but I don't know. I'm talking like I have a clue but I mean really you just don't know until you get out there and you cast the line cast the bait out see what happens so I've got uh, I don't know 30 ish minutes 45 minutes left that I can fish so I'm gonna stick it out and see if we can't get another bite all right folks there's that bait there and see maybe I don't know if you can see on camera or not I got my shadow in the way but kind of squeeze that and there's not much for blood or oils in there then fish kind of flatten that bait out there's no innards left in there I'd probably get another fish on it but or I don't have much time left to fish anyway and I've got some extra baits I'm gonna go ahead and swap it out so ordinarily I think I'd maybe hang on to that bait there and save it in my cooler and, and use it if I get get low on bait and need it but where I've only got probably another half hour here that I'm gonna fish I just toss out one in the lake and get a new one on there so 
turned out to be a, a little bit better move than I thought thought maybe that it was gonna be to come back here and fish the shallows. So of course we've got that one blue and two channels now. And maybe we'll get some more before we have to get out here. Guys, this rod's getting bit now. I just got that other released that other fish and got that uh bait fixed back. Haven't cast it back out yet, and this one's getting hit again. Kind of acting like another channel. I think he's got it. Yep. Nice. <laughs> well, maybe it wasn't all bad coming back in. It was much farther walk than what I wanted it to be, but if it results in me catching fish, I'm okay with it. <laughs> this one hit like another channel cat. Those blues today have just been kind of rocking the rod, just pulling it right in the water, but the channels aren't hitting as hard. And this one doesn't feel too big either. We'll see what it is. Man. If it weren't for the wind, it's been a real nice day to be out here doing some fishing though. Camera probably got a lot of wind noise and wave noise on the camera. Yeah, this is uh, another channel cat. So, well, that's fish number five for the day. It's not a crazy day, but not bad. It can always be worse. And try and let him once again kind of tucker himself out a little bit there before I get down there and mess with him at all he was nice enough to give us that bait back again so once we get him taken care of and released then we'll take a look at that bait and see I keep saying bluegills one of those baits that the blood it's just not a real bloody oily bait it doesn't last as long as some other baits but I mean it's it's what I've got so that's what I use it's what I can get access to readily but I mean, these catfish, when they bite on that bait, they kind of, they, they clamp down on it and they squeeze it real hard. They have really strong jaws and they squeeze a lot of those juices and the oils out of it. So I think he's about tuckered out. So we're gonna land this fish and we'll take a look at that bait and see. Um, probably what I'm gonna do is, since I won't be fishing for too much longer, probably go ahead and just switch it out and get a fresh bait on there. Again, not a not a bad channel cat. Not bad at all. Let's see if I can get him to open his mouth for me. Come on, buddy. Holy cow. Maybe I can get him this way. get my pliers out for this guy maybe there we go thought I wasn't gonna get him unhooked there for a second <laughs> there's that one Again, not a bad channel cat. Go ahead and stick him back in the water. And uh, take a look at this bait. And got two lines. Don't have any lines in water right now, so need to get back out there. Well, folks, I'm getting ready to reel these baits up and get on out of here. Um, if I happen to get another fish between the time that I film this and the time I get everything reeled in and, and get ready to hike on out, then I'll throw it in here on the end of the video. But otherwise, go ahead and call this the end of the video. So, all in all, not a terrible day. Caught that one first fish. It was a, was a pretty nice blue. And, uh, 
got four other bites uh, beyond that so I can't complain too much I think it's safe to say that we have discovered that there are in fact some fish up here in the shallows also would be safe to say that there are not enough of them up here in the shallows at least not right here where my baits are to have made it worth the one hour of hiking in and the one hour of hiking out which I'm about to endure so all things equal I think knowing what I know now if I could do it over again I probably would just stay right where I was before and who knows maybe I would never got another bite maybe I would have I would have had two whole extra hours to fish over there because I wouldn't have to do the one one hour hike in one hour hike out but learn some viable info able to make some adjustments now on my map of places that I want to try and places that I've been um, we'll keep after it and slowly but surely I'll I'll get a little bit better at fishing situations like this one here and until next time uh, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the video